guys my name is ankush kaurav and i welcome you to contu series so far in the core java series we went through java concepts in general now in this tutorial we will learn the concept of a class and an object in a java program or in other words we will go through an introduction to object oriented programming concepts which will form a real big foundation for the rest of tutorials in core java series so let's start Java is an object oriented programming language means the programs you write using Java always follow the object oriented concepts or guidelines a program is nothing more than a set of instructions which does some task say sending an email to your friend or addition of two numbers etc etc in real life projects you will be asked to write a software which may involve many functionalities in a single software like a gmail application a single gmail application is capable of sending an email to any of your friends receiving an email from your friends maintaining a list of your known contacts chat program which you use to send an instant message to your friend etc etc there can be many approaches for writing a program where a program can be as big as a program like gmail or a simple program performing just addition of two numbers an object oriented is one of such approaches what it says is a software system should always be looked or written as a combination of many individual small programs called as objects which will interact with each other to form a bigger software or a program the idea is simple the way in real life things happen or work will do programming in the same way in real life if someone asks you to build a kitchen for his house what you'll do you'll bring individual objects from market say microwave spoons knife refrigerator and some of the useful utensils etc to form a kitchen in your kitchen in addition to having objects of different types you also have some objects which are of same type for example many spoons objects here the point to notice each object in your kitchen is capable of performing some task represents a state and has a real time existence in your kitchen one object may use another object for carrying out a certain task for example in order to prepare a vegetable dish a person object uses a knife object for cutting purpose and then uses a bowl object along with a microwave object for cooking it and in the end uses many plate and spoon objects for serving purpose to conclude here i would say an object in a real life has the capability to perform a certain task represents a state and has a real time existence in a much similar way a program or a software that you write is made up of many small programs where each such small program is called as an object you may have many different or same type of objects in your application and just like an object in real life behaves each object in terms of a program too represents some state has a real time existence and is capable of performing a certain task when you run the application one or many objects in your application together will perform a certain task all right non important thing coming up in real life from where object comes and the answer is someone creates them but before creating any object you always need to write a blueprint for the actual object for example for creating a spoon object in a factory you will first need to write the blueprint or a complete description of the required spoon object and it's only then by reading through this description a factory guy would manufacture the actual spoon object it's a one time activity writing the blueprint of what you want in an actual object and later on you may go on creating any number of physical objects of that type here the point to note is the blueprint is just a complete description of an object but not the actual object similarly in a software application 
we will need to write a blueprint of how a specific object looks like and what task it is capable of performing. In a program, this blueprint is called as a class. Once a class is ready, you go on creating any number of objects of that type by reading through the class description. In this tutorial, I just tried showing you the approach for writing a program based on object-oriented programming concepts, which is exactly similar in the way how real world works. But I did not show you anything yet in terms of a program, like how an object looks like, how to write a blueprint or a class of an object. In short, nothing I showed you up till now except the philosophy of what classes and objects mean in an object-oriented world. In the next tutorial, we will write a basic calculator program to understand what a class and an object mean in terms of a Java program. Guys, a big thank you for learning Java with me. I welcome you to share your feedback, comments and queries below this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Gone to Series and I'm gonna catch you in my next tutorial.